the problem was that we were not using all spaces of the library effectively. And so the driving question was, how might we use every aspect of the library? The model was created to demonstrate many prototypes within it. The key features are to solicit feedback uh, that would be qualitative, that could demonstrate where we might want to expand or look at further. The intended benefit is that all users of the library, whether they're introverts, extroverts, PYP, MYP, DP, or parents or other members of the community, would all find something appealing about the library. So far what has happened is I've created this model and I've begun to solicit feedback on what people think that they like, what they would change, why they liked things, and I've started to think about what I might do as next steps. The evidence right now is all qualitative in nature, it's what people think, what people like, what people don't like, what they would change. Um, Ewan has pointed out ways that we might start to test certain aspects of the library. The lessons about space that I can infer are that it can be utilized in almost any fashion and so to maximize things for one person might be completely different than another. For example, I wanted to go with browns and greens and darks and another person looked and started saying it needs to be really bright and colorful, uh, the complete opposite of uh, the look I was trying to go for in my model. In this case, space might help by going up with more levels or going down with sunken floors. It might also help in that we might expand left and right. We could go into the cafeteria. We might grow the space into the PYP design room. And I'd like to even see it grow outside and maybe even way outside of the realm of the library space that we know. For example, extended library pods around the school or even extensions through video uh, that are demonstrating things that are happening in the library. However, space might hinder in that there are some major beams and some things that are already there. So we'll have to take these ideas and these tests and send them off to architects and engineers and see what we can do. Maybe you could have a little, maybe, art room? As a grade 12 student, I liked the idea of like the more individual study spaces. Um, uh, I like the meeting places because I'm part of like the sustainability committee and we're often looking for places to meet. Right now we're meeting in the upstairs cafeteria and it's always noisy so having a little projector area would be very helpful for that kind of thing. Or maybe the younger kids, maybe they could have a little area like Maybe little cubbies like that they can sit with nice pillows and things to read. Um, I like that there were many floors mm -hmm. and since we were using the space there were many like more new spaces that weren't before. I know that the younger kids like the little squatty bookshelves and the places that display books because they're not going to go looking for books, they want to be able to see them. Mm -hmm. And so if the library is still aimed towards reading and um, that part of it, as well as uh, technology and using it as a study space. I would say that the younger kids still want space that they can sit on a carpet or um, pick up a book off a shelf. Quiet place to read because in libraries some kids speak loud and if someone wants to read in the quiet place maybe they can go in there and then they can read there. In terms of the slides and like that little tunnel, I think that will definitely make the library more fun and interactive for the kids. Right now it's just library, it would make it more than library. Maybe you could also get some students to paint some things for the library. I would try and make it more simple. On more of an individual like study terms, I really think that I'd like uh, bean bags or something to lounge on because I work better when my laptop is with me rather than on a, at a desk. Mm -hmm.